Oyster shell calcium is used to prevent or treat low blood calcium levels in people who don't get enough calcium from their diets. It can also be used to treat conditions caused by low calcium levels such as osteoporosis, osteomalacia, hypoparathyroidism, and latent tetany. Additionally, it may be used to ensure that certain patients are getting enough calcium, such as women who are pregnant, nursing, or postmenopausal, and people taking certain medications like phenytoin, phenobarbital, or prednisone. Calcium plays a crucial role in the body, as it is necessary for the normal functioning of nerves, cells, muscles, and bones. If there is not enough calcium in the blood, the body will take calcium from the bones, which can weaken them. Therefore, having the right amount of calcium is important for building and maintaining strong bones. As for the daily dosage, it's important to follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional. Oyster shell calcium can be taken with or without food. It's best to take it at the same times each day, and it's important not to exceed the recommended dosage. Be sure to discuss the best timing for taking oyster shell calcium with your doctor, as they can provide personalized recommendations based on your individual needs. When taking oyster shell calcium, it is important to take it with food. If your product contains calcium citrate, it can be taken with or without food. Make sure to follow the directions on the product package or as directed by your doctor. For best absorption, if your daily dose is more than 600 mg, it is recommended to divide the dose and take it at different times throughout the day. If you are using the chewable product, make sure to chew it well before swallowing. For the effervescent tablet, allow it to fully dissolve in a glass of water before drinking it. Do not chew or swallow the tablet whole. If you are using the liquid product or powder, make sure to measure the medication with a dose measuring spoon or device to ensure you get the correct dose. Do not use a household spoon. If the liquid product is a suspension, shake the bottle well before each dose. It is important to take this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. If your doctor has recommended a special diet, it is crucial to follow the diet to get the most benefit from this medication and to prevent serious side effects. Avoid taking other supplements or vitamins unless ordered by your doctor. If you think you may have a serious medical problem, seek medical help right away. If you experience constipation or an upset stomach while using oyster shell calcium, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Remember that your doctor has determined that the benefits of this medication outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Notify your doctor immediately if you experience any of the following serious side effects, nausea or vomiting, loss of appetite, unusual weight loss, changes in mental-slash-mood, bone or muscle pain, headache, increased thirst or urination, weakness, or unusual tiredness. While a severe allergic reaction to this medication is rare, seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not listed here, contact your doctor or pharmacist. As for the optimal timing and daily dosage, it is best to follow your doctor's instructions. Before taking oyster shell calcium, it's important to discuss any allergies with your doctor or pharmacist. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's best to seek more details from your pharmacist. If you have high calcium levels, kidney disease, little or no stomach acid, heart disease, pancreas disease, lung disease, or difficulty absorbing nutrition from food, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using this product. Some sugar-free formulations of oyster shell calcium may contain aspartame. If you have phenylketonuria, PKU, or any other condition that requires you to restrict your intake of aspartame, consult your doctor or pharmacist about using this drug safely. It's also important to inform your doctor if you are pregnant before using this medication, as well as consulting your doctor before breastfeeding as this medication can pass into breast milk. When taking oyster shell calcium, it's best to follow the recommended daily dosage and take it at the optimal timing for the best results. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with oyster shell calcium. Some medications, such as digoxin, cellulose sodium phosphate, and certain phosphate binders, may interact with oyster shell calcium. Additionally, calcium can decrease the absorption of other drugs, 
including bisphosphonates, tetracycline antibiotics, estramostine, levothyroxin, and quinolone antibiotics. It's recommended to separate the doses of these medications as far as possible from the doses of calcium. Make sure to check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription products, as they may contain calcium. If you have any concerns or questions about drug interactions with oyster shell calcium, it's important to consult with your doctor or pharmacist. If someone has taken too much oyster shell calcium and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call the local Poison Control Center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, changes in mood, headaches, weakness, and tiredness. It's crucial to seek medical attention if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms. Calcium is essential for strong bones and teeth, and oyster shell calcium is a great source of this important mineral. It can be found in dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese, as well as in dark green leafy vegetables such as broccoli and spinach. To help your body absorb calcium, it's important to also consume foods rich in vitamin D, such as fortified dairy products, eggs, and fatty fish. Vitamin D is also produced by the body when exposed to sunlight. If you're taking oyster shell calcium, your doctor may recommend regular medical tests to monitor your calcium levels. It's important to follow up with your doctor and attend all scheduled appointments. The daily dosage of oyster shell calcium depends on your individual needs, so be sure to consult your doctor for personalized advice. It's best to take calcium supplements with meals to enhance absorption, and spacing out your doses throughout the day can also be beneficial. If you forget to take a dose of oyster shell calcium, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing oyster shell calcium, it's best to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a place that's not the bathroom and away from children and pets. If you no longer need the product or it is expired, it's important to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do so. And remember, never flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.